Now, let's start by saying this video won't cover anything mundane like humans terraforming Mars or landing on Jupiter's moons. Because compared to the spectacular events which will occur in our backyard over the next few millennia and beyond, man buzzing around the joint setting up camp is pretty small fry. For example, did you know the moon hates us and wants out of our one-sided relationship? Were you aware that our entire solar system could be about to leave a giant gas cloud? And how do you think the story of the sun ends? Let's find out in this list of seven amazing events in our solar system's future. At 7, Jupiter's complexion clears up. This is Jupiter's giant red spot, and it's suffered from this pretty major zit for as long as mankind has observed it. But could this be about to change? The spot is actually a giant raging 300 mile an hour storm which has lasted for at least 186 years, and in all probability much longer. The first people to observe the spot were Robert Hooke and Jean Dominique Cassini sometime between 1664 and 1665, but more detailed observations were made in the 1800s, and when we compare images of the Great Red Spot taken by Hubble recently to those shot in the 19th century, we can see that the Great Red Spot has shrunk by half. Having been approximately 25,000 miles across in the late 1800s, the storm is now a measly 10,250 miles across. It is known that atmospheric storms and gas giants like Jupiter aren't stable over long periods of time, so it's surprising the red spot has persisted for as long as it has. We've also seen it change from rich red to salmon and bright white, but we have no idea why this is or what caused it in the first place. But we'd better hurry up, because by the looks of things, Jupiter's been googling home pimple remedies and that famous red spot is on its way out. Number 6. Mars Gets Hitched Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune all look pretty fancy with a ring around them, don't you think? Uranus has a ring too, which sounds pretty painful. But do you ever wonder if Mars gets jealous and wishes it had one of its very own? Well, if you wait around long enough, you just might see that happen. Admittedly, this is going to be a pretty long engagement, but it's predicted that within 20 to 70 million years, the trajectory of the Martian moon Phobos will take it too close to the planet's surface. When this happens, tidal stresses will cause Phobos to be torn apart, and the resulting debris from a violent moon shredding will form a ring around Mars that should last around 1 in 100 million years. I guess the solar system does like Mars after all, because it's going to put a ring on it. 5. Jupiter loses its core. Despite being a gas giant, Jupiter is believed to have a solid core made of iron, rock, and ice. But after an experiment by planetary scientists at the California Institute of Technology, it seems that this solid core may not last forever. Jupiter's core lies beneath an atmosphere of thick hydrogen and helium and is subjected to a combination of high pressure and intense heat. The pressure inflicted is around 40 million times Earth's atmosphere pressure. And with temperatures reaching more than 16,000 Kelvin, it's hotter than the surface of the Sun. When the Caltech scientists inflicted severe heat and pressure on one of the main materials which comprise Jupiter's core, magnesium oxide, they found that it started to dissolve. We can't exactly recreate the intense heat or pressure found at Jupiter's core just yet. But if its main components dissolve at even lower temperatures and pressures, it seems likely that eventually Jupiter will be one giant ball of hot gas. First the spot and now the core. Jupiter's headed for a tough time. In at 4, we exit the gas cloud. For at least the past 45,000 years, our solar system has been making its way through a cloud of gas called the Local Interstellar Cloud. But a study of these interstellar clouds, undertaken over several decades by various universities including Chicago and New Hampshire, has revealed that we may be about to pass through it with devastating results. Should we exit the local interstellar cloud and enter a denser one such as the nearby galactic cloud, the increased density could compress the sun's magnetic field further inwards, leaving us deathly exposed to a barrage of cosmic rays. And when might this happen? 
while observers say it's hard to pinpoint exactly. It could be as many as 50,000 years, or as few as 20. And by the way, that's not 20,000 years, that's actually 20 years. Oh, goody! 3. The Moon Breaks Up With Us? Human beings haven't visited the moon since the 70s, so it's no surprise that she may want to start seeing other people. Sometime in the far future, that giant ball of grey cheese in the sky will begin to leave the Earth behind. And the consequences for anything still living here will be huge! The moon is gradually receding from Earth's orbit approximately 4 centimeters per year, and eventually, albeit within billions of years, the distance between them could increase to over twice what it is today. If this continues, both the moon's orbit of Earth and our rotational speed will reduce. The Earth will cease to experience tidal waves. And the time it takes for the Earth to rotate and the moon to orbit the Earth will eventually be the same. This is called tidal locking, and it already causes the same side of the moon to permanently face Earth. But once the same side of Earth always faces the moon, it will result in our days and our months being exactly the same length of time. Future calendars are going to look mighty strange. Number 2. Mercury Makes Its Mark In a 2009 issue of the journal Nature, the results of a computer simulation were published which showed that at some point over the next few billion years, there's a small chance that Mercury could go… a little crazy. Jupiter's gravity is so strong it actually warps Mercury's orbit, which at present is elliptical, but could one day become so distorted it overlaps the orbit of Venus. And if that happens, there isn't a pile of doo-doo or a fan big enough to use as a suitable metaphor to describe the carnage that will unfold. There are four possibilities considered likely. Mercury is thrown into the Sun, or it could be ejected from the solar system entirely, and those are the good things. The bad endings involve Mercury crashing into Venus, which causes debris to hit the Earth. Or alternatively, Mercury could just crash into Earth directly. Earth is screwed either way. And if you think we'd be safe living on Mars, think again. In one of the simulations, even the red planet was hurled into the cold depths of interstellar space by this event. So let's hope Mercury manages to hold itself together and resist the devastating lure of Jupiter's gravitational pull. And at number one, the end. It's inevitable, folks. All great stories must come to an end, and the solar system's eventual quadrillion year run will finish with an absolute doozy. The sun will get brighter by 1% every 110 million years until its hydrogen is burnt out, which means in 1 billion years the habitable zone of our solar system will shift. It will be impossible for life on Earth as we know it to exist as our world turns into a fiery death planet similar to Venus. But on Mars, life may begin again thanks to the greenhouse effect, and water ice trapped at the poles could be released into the atmosphere creating conditions similar to here on Earth. Although eventually Mars too will succumb to the sun's expansion and become too hot to inhabit. But by that time, approximately 7.5 billion years into the future when the Sun is 256 times its current size, the solar system's habitable zone may then shift to create conditions suitable for life on Saturn's moon Titan. The unstoppable expansion of the Sun will envelop both Mercury and Venus, and whilst there's a chance our scorched Earth may survive by being pushed out further into orbit thanks to weaker solar gravity, it's more likely it'll end up swallowed by the encroaching sun, just like its solar system buddies. Eventually, the sun will shrink back down to 11 times its current size, 54 times its present brightness, expand once more, shed its outer layers, and form a halo-shaped object called a planetary nebula, containing the building blocks for the next generation of stars. Any planets left within the solar system will drift away, and within one quadrillion years, all that will be left of our corner of the galaxy will be a black dwarf sun. A dark dot, a void of nothingness, and not a single scrap of evidence we ever existed at all. So, have a nice day, folks! Did that video depress you a little bit? Make you feel ever so slightly insignificant? Well, that's because you are, and everyone on Earth hates you. So. Why not move to Mars? According to our last video on 7 Martian Mysteries, it's a pretty happening place. 
So why not take a look?